<coughs> greetings everyone okay so first of all i want to thank everyone whoever actually subscribing i don't know uh and i actually want to thank all of you so you did this and i need to one for two cent half century okay so i'm not asking to subscribe but if you actually doing this i am thank you thankful to you okay so for you just for you is, uh, as you actually subscribing so i need actually support or like that one but actually never ask for that one because i think uh, if i ask for something that means there is lack of something in my talent or i actually whatever i providing that is not correct or that is not needed in uh, whole society okay so in my perception it is in my thoughts okay i am not actually forcing you to think like that one so if you are actually subscribing then for uh, if you are actually learning something from my videos i think uh, i need to thankful and i'm thankful to all of you okay thank you everyone okay so that's it i know it's not actually become 50 but uh, it will become 50 I, i have that hope i have that confidence okay uh, little by little will uh, get higher that was the thing in my belief okay so thank thank you everyone okay so, <clears throat> so first one i mean so for all of you for you all of his sake i actually want to make everything bangla and english both uh, i do i know everyone actually get frustrated that i am always using english and my english is broken or not i don't know but uh, pretty much as i am actually <coughs> preparing for something uh something exams in the uh, near future so i actually have to try it for my own sake okay so i'm not saying that you need to <coughs> be like me okay whatever you things uh, thoughts sir do whatever you like okay so think sir i have learned some words that is invidious okay so invidious is something you actually know about it and you actually feel that uh, you always feel that okay so what is that you always uh, feel envy or you like envious feeling you have or you offensive feeling that's kind of feeling or obnoxious feeling it's like harmful del- uh, deleterious obnoxious in celebrious lot of like words okay so you always feel like that that envious 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 comes from the word envy so envy means hate or someone or someone uh, okay feeling jealous about someone success that was kind of envy okay so we do not need to this word because <coughs> envy is adjective and envy is also adjective there is a offensive okay we always heard about them don't get offensive okay don't get so offensive okay so it's like in terms of when you actually uh, in a fight with someone uh, with others that was the thing don't get offensive okay don't hit someone with uh, something uh, harder or something like a knife or other uh, harmful <coughs> uh, metal tools okay so in real is easy offensive and uh, is like envious someone and that is also i mean there one is <coughs> you can say that uh, you hate something like uh, what is like uh dangerous anything you can say that <clears throat> so and in videos is like actually that feeling envious feeling offensive feeling the kind of feeling is envious in videos okay so what is the basic the basic is you need to understand the why in videos is like offensive or envious one and how you actually can understand this uh, whenever you see this word and uh, also to learn the spellings so first see that in vivid view okay we know that vivid is vivid means clear in clear uh, it's like in clear means what suppose uh, you are talking about someone and there are other person who actually come and uh, talk about bad things about the person you are actually talking or the topic issue like uh, for example x you are talking about x and some y come why come to join a new conversation and he actually saying something bad about x also so you what are the perception he is actually clear about it or not so there is a confusion okay so in clear views like something like that one so in clear view everything was clear but un, uh, in not clear okay so i think i need to skip it what does in means here in is a negative one okay so you need to understand that why i am using in near vivid okay in is a negative one so in vivid means an unclear view okay so someone is actually talking about x 
or he's saying about bad things that is not clear he about he actually doesn't know about the x person what is the personality okay person varies person qualities varies person character varies person <clears throat> from situation to situation so in vivid view Okay, <clears throat> so what I'm trying to say that in vivid view everything seems uh, dangerous and vicious uh, because or cause the lack of clearance. So I mean, Bangla bolli jodi okay. So do you know manush kotha bolte sa action bolke je hai hum wo exit pumi ko. Aur jo third person aslo she wide horror name. So she aslo and join ko na then wo action bolke abar uti dik tool ta bolle kotha bolte sa. So खराब कथा ना कि भलो कथा से आईडिया खराब से रेलिभेंट रेलिभेंटे खराब किस बना शुरू करसेपन क्लियर ना सो इन लाइक इन भिविड मानलियर अनक्लियर जो भिउ थे अनक्लियर जो कन्सेप्ट थे परसेपन थे एवरिथिंग सीम्स एंड भिज और डेजारस कज द लेक अफ क्लियरेंस ओके तो कारो सम्पर्क जो हमारे खराब आइडिया थे अनक्लियर आईडी थे जेट लाइक नेभ्यूला अल्सो नेभ्यूल आइडिया थे हमारे ओई पार्सन के रंग धरी अब एम अनेक समय हो जाए जो भलो मानस के खराब बोली खराब मानस के रंग आइडिया थे कारण भलो मन करी सो दैट उल हैपन ओके एक्चुअल हैपेंिंग अल्सो <clears throat> you can say that it is a present tense not like present continuous it actually happens okay so everything you say everything will be discovered or everything will be uh, viewed by you self okay so jinish ta ergomi hoy so in vivid view is like in unclear view everything seems in vivid is like unclear in vivid is actually referring to unclear why in in is a negative one we know that why with that in uh, insecure Secure means he is feeling secure. Insecure means feeling uh, not secure. Okay, so in is is used as uh, not sometimes. You know that. So here is a concept about that. So in vivid view, you can see that invidious is like a uh, envious, dangerous, offensive, that kind of thing. <coughs> Itinerant is a interesting one, and uh, it means what? It means unsettled. So you are actually unsettled. He is that we say that he is a settled person. Uh, his settlement is good. Uh, his perception is good. His uh, decoration is good. So settlement is like uh, is like not temporarily moving. Okay, settle means permanent place. Okay, he living. He say uh, he settled in USA. uh he settled in usa or he settled in dhaka or whatever you can say that so settle is like he's actually lived or he actually live there okay so this is the thing is like settle one <coughs> so what does the opposite of settle that is unsettle so itinerate is the one itinerate is the one that means unsettle that means someone is actually moving from one place to another that is called wandering from one place to another that is like unsettled so itinerant is kind of uh, itinerant lifestyle so everyone lives itinerant lifestyle that are uh, it's like most of the time you heard about uh, bloggers who actually move from one country to another so most people like that so remote workers does that life so you can say that kind of thing is okay <coughs>
okay quite uh, cracky word but quite a cracky sentence okay cities owners there's like city uh, we know that cities have some owners there is like uh, some people have uh, you can say that some people actually have the majority of kind of property uh, that is called I mean if you say Bangla so there are like city owners you can say that so cities owners listen with unsettled customers so just so customer barber move correct so udishate hot cheki city jay owner a take a tarakki satisfied hoi ba please and take it it's like please and what we generally use courage show to them and average in the please please in moment okay pleasure please and there is like a lot more like common okay you can use another one that is your concern issue but for me pleasant is work uh good as a feed one okay pleasant means happy kind of sentence so citizen is actually present with the unsettled customers so you can understand that itinerary is the uh, one itinerant is the one which is mean unsettled wandering from one place to another so this kind of sentence uh you can use to learn the itinerary one Okay, so pretty much understandable word that is sanguine. Sanguine is uh, what? Sanguine is uh, like a word which is actually give you a hope of life about uh, something you can actually do this. Okay, so this is like optimistic. Whatever the conditions are, you always remain optimistic uh, because you have that guards, you have that inner feeling that you can actually crack that or crack anything. Okay. So sanguine is like sand is genuine. What is the sand? Okay, sand means uh, what can I say that there is like unmixed sand materials. You can say that uh, whatever is like mixed and unmixed. We say that salt is mixable, but uh, there are something opposite of salt that is unmixable. There is like um, something sand. Sand is used in uh, making houses, roads. There is kind of thing. So sand is actually so looks like uh, salt but it is actually a um, thing which is found in roadside okay you can understand the sand uh sand in mostly found in ocean areas that is like um, you can say that coxus buzzer area you can say that beach area that are like sands are available okay you can say that say that sands are actually giving you heat okay be uh, below your under the under your feet okay that is so called sand so sand is like that sand is genuine means if you get the genuine sand that is unmixable with uh, water so like that one whatever the conditions are if you are genuine if you are optimistic then nothing can beat you okay so this is the relevancy with uh, sand okay i'm just saying for that okay if you say in bangla that is like sand balu so balu kona je bhanmo sheta hoche she pani sathe khub shohoje mishana because I've shown punish other due to show the mission at a man at a genuine quality ship do right this is the genuine man how chap needed optimistic on a man the genuine quality that a key of naked beat could have been not a key of nature that mixed up with burn up in easy a john shown no way by john keep on as a winner way survivor wish of a family would have a developer it is what's a quality because a punish of the salt mission it to honor making the booster burn not just salt nagi long on sorry it's like salt naki amra chini this is going to शॉर्ट बोलते मुद्दे पापानी मुद्दे कारण उसे मिशेल के से जिन्हें शेर पूरी विषय दे मिशेल के से कि तो जब मिशेल ना तो इन दो जेनुइन था कि तार क्वालिटी के जेनुइन शेर निजे कोशिश तो के धुर रखे दैट मींस ही इज द जेनुइन इन हिज ओन क्वालिटी दैट मींस ही इज ऑफ़ मिस्टिक अबाउट हिज own abilities about his own characteristics everything that is called sanguine you can understand that sand is genuine that means sanguine okay you are always uh, try to be a sanguine person sanguine is a positive word so there are some negative words of so sanguine you can say desolated depressed uh, isolated dingy what oh, almost on forlorn okay you can say also forlorn is a negative one for long run he has to suffer in the long run for long run means he has to suffer in the long run you can see anything there is called uh, words like fun to play with them that is the thing and uh, thank you all everyone for your support 
uh, I know that you all know that how many subscribers I have right now so I don't know that is be uh, huge or not I don't care about that but if you're actually learning something from my videos that is everything for me thank you